What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back with some grounded. In today's episode, I'm feeling a little bit like I want to. Honestly, a little bit like I want to tear all the shit down and create something new. And now that I have the large stem palettes and large plank palettes, that gives me a better opportunity to build something a little more fun, maybe a little more ideal. Now, one of the really cool things that I saw that I ended up buying from the science shop is floating um, dock, like or pretty much like I, I can go out here in the middle of the pond and I can make a base that not only surpasses this one in security and defense because it's in the middle of nowhere. So really like what? The only thing that really would be threatening us would be flying enemies. And hell, I mean, even if it was just like right here, not only would it look awesome, not only would it be closer to the upper yard, potentially we can move this entire tower over and have a better advantage to getting into different places other than right here, especially with the same height. We would ultimately avoid the wolf spiders. I could even put a zip line all the way over. So in today's episode, well, really it's going to be a big one. Um, I'm actually, I don't know. I don't know. I might, I'm going to probably going to cut it up. Honestly, um, kind of watching my show, kind of doing my thing. So I'm going to do a bunch of resource gathering and this is going to be a big one. So I need to figure out really fast. I want to figure out really fast. What exactly does it take to make the floating dock? And we need to go get that stuff. So I'm not actually seeing it here. Is it under this? Floating dock. Come on. I know I have it. I know. I know. I know I have it. I just, where is it? Here we go. A buoyant foundation. And boy, is it pretty expensive with the berry leather. The expensive with the berry leather, silk rope, and eel grass strands. Now, I mean, realistically, like, how many blocks is this? One, two. Okay, yeah, just we're gonna need a shit ton. Okay, so I got to do a bunch of gathering, which is gonna take me a long time, and then even to like begin to shoot this episode, and even into the next one, it's gonna be a absolute pain. As well as I don't actually want to build too much with grass planks anymore purely because I do want it to be as defensible as possible uh, I would rather go with stems which as you can see over here I have busted out the large stem palette to go ahead and do that and I guess I'm gonna have to honestly I'm gonna have to get my underwater gear and just go and mine a bunch of ill Eel grass strands and berry leather. We're gonna have to go over there and get a bunch of berry leather, which requires arrows and yeah. This is gonna be it's gonna be a big project. And I'm not entirely sure how far I'll be able to get because I mean obviously it takes such a long time. I do have all night, but holy shit, you know? But alright. When next time you see me, I should be ready to start laying foundations down, at least. Okay, so in the process of doing everything, I essentially... Uh, hold on, where's my helmet? I essentially pissed off a bunch of larvae, getting a bunch of clay and stuff, and so here they come. Little fucking bastards. Here they come. Um, I don't know, I guess they're kind of slow or something. Anyway, I mean, this is probably the whole one of the whole purposes of actually having... Um, actually having a floating base, right? So we can't get attacked by these little assholes. Uh, they would just be stuck on shore, really. They wouldn't be able to actually attack us. Oh my god, they're ladybird larvae. What? Oh, fucking hell. I don't think I pissed off ladybird larvae, but... I guess, whatever. I thought it was just the regular larvae, because I didn't even go up to tier 2. Where are the rest of them at? This is the most unexciting raid. I mean, unless they're over there. Hopefully not. Unless they're over at my tower. But I wouldn't see why they would be. 
I don't have any coziness or anything over there. So if they're not here and they're not, oh, I can't tell. Hold on. Taking a look. Yeah, if they're not here and they're not at the tower. Oh well. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna continue about my day. Uh, that was the larva attack, guys. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was uh, very entertaining. Uh, much needed. Very hard fight. Yes, yes. You know. Whittle down it little by little. I have regrets. Oh my God! What does that hurt so bad? Uh. A little less. I. I just. Now. I, I don't even know what to say about that, dude. Like, what in the fuck am I supposed to do exactly against this bastard if he does just does that? Like, like he almost instantly kills me. Like, consistently. And I just don't understand how the fuck I'm possibly supposed to take this dude like what on earth Jesus Christ Dude, and he does so much knockback, too. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm going to kill you, bitch. Jesus fucking. Like, okay. So, he's not that strong, but, like, if I'm not prepared for him, like, if I don't come over here with my stuff, you know, like, I'm just going to die. Like... I'm just dead. Like, I, I can't do anything about it. Like, excuse me, I switched my mutations. My inventory should not be full. What do you mean, one out of five? Mutations, C. Apparently, I don't have that on. But yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? Okay. Oh, shit. That's not what I expected. Okay. I, okay, anyway, I found this hole, and I went in the hole to an orb weaver. Oh, butter. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, come on. I didn't expect it to be a wolf spider here. Whatever. I found a hole. I went in here because I saw spiders and... I peeped an orb weaver, but I didn't see the wolf spider. Anyway, I came in here for the the webs. I need uh, silk fucking need silk rope. Need silk rope. I didn't expect to fight a fucking wolf spider though. Come here, bitch. Hey, but hey, we got a milk muller, so goody goody. I just don't know how long this torch is gonna last. So luckily. It's not that deep of a cave. I gotta make another one. I keep forgetting. Okay, we got a little bit of web fiber. Which is good. Yeah, that was easy. Cool. I think we can probably get the fuck out of it. Wait, no. Last one. Alright, we probably can get the fuck out of here now. All right, it's been like an hour, and I think we can start on some buoyant foundations. I'm still waiting on some berry leather to cure up, which is taking the longest out of out of everything. I do. I, I need to put this down first, so I can kind of walk with it. So essentially, so I get it in a good spot because I don't. 
know if they can spawn on the lily pads, but I want to be far enough away that that's not a problem. Let's see, yeah, we shouldn't. I don't think I can make all of these. Yeah, no, we can't. We still have plenty of stuff to to wait on. This fairly fairly expensive to do all this. It's saying that I only have a few eel strand grass, even though I had 200. How much exactly does it take now? Yeah, I think the chest is just a little far away. So we can move that with our handy gnat real quick. So I think if we try to move it and jump in there, it'll actually disable our us being able to move it. Okay. Oh yeah, never mind. We have... We have some extra materials. We were just out of range of the chest. Which honestly is kind of disappointing that it's that you know, that shallow of a distance really. But it is what it is. And then I think burial leather is gonna be like I said, the the more expensive part. So I don't think the frame I don't I don't think the foundation does has to be massive. I think I can build around it. So maybe I'll go out one more block here. So that's one, two, three, four, so that's five. And then we'll bring it back. Come on. We'll bring it back. This is four, five, six, seven. Probably bring it back like eight or so. So we have a big enough base to do things with. And then the walls, we're actually gonna do stems probably. I guess one of the one of the only the only things that I have to say is it's going to be difficult to defend outside unless we make more of these platforms around it, or we have something of a flat top roof like that. Then I can kind of shoot down at the walls. Well, actually, you know, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So we should only have to deal with anything flying. All the rest of everything else should stay on land. They shouldn't actually be able to get out to us. So, actually, I was thinking that... Oops. I was thinking... That we might actually not need this many buoyant foundations for what we need. We might be able to just use them to platform. So, like, use them as structural. So, not the entire thing as buoyant platforms. Let me see if I can give you an example of that really quick. I know I just... Oh, shit. I just lost a bunch of stuff over there. Okay, I, I have to actually... I actually have to go over there. Hold on. Um, essentially, what I'm saying with it is I don't think we need the entire platform to be buoyant foundations. I think we can space them out and kind of bridge them together using regular flooring. So we don't have to sit here and waste so much time and effort on actually like building the stuff because the biggest thing that's going to take the longest and the most expensive is the berry leather and the silk rope, which both take a while to really efficiently make because you, you don't want to just craft it or you just craft it. You're just going to fuck yourself up. So let me see. So instead, if I went, this is two. Whatever, I can't count with that. Instead of doing that, what if I just... Move them into the four corners. And then built on top of them. And we'll move these to the side just in case we need some more. Or, for example, when we get ready to revamp the tower... Um, out here in the pond, which is going to help us out a lot. You know, honestly, or really, I should take advantage of the upper yard here. Or this structure here. I don't think I can build on this, though. And there's supposed to be a moth up here at some point. So maybe, potentially, we need to take advantage of the rock face up here that gives us a bunch of height to be able to actually, you know, have an effective zipline tower. But, I want to see if this is going to work. And I want a little bit, want a little bit of a bigger. Hold on here, stop, stop. A bigger base than this. I don't know if that's going to be. That might be a little too big, to be honest with you, because we still. Okay. 
Okay, whatever. I don't know what I don't know what's going on with that one. Okay. This one actually needs to move over, or that one needs to move over, but where's our grass floor at? This is where this is where it gets annoying building building on on the pond. I've gotta get up here and I prefer building from the workbench other than the actual like pond itself, so I get up here and well really, let me see. Let me use this to my advantage with the extra ones that I have. Use this to my advantage and just bridge over over here and then I can make a to be able to make a weed there, grass stem floor, grass floor. But it won't let me put that on there. Okay, so what about will it let me do a stem scaffolding on top of it? It will. Okay. So stem scaffold. And then we can make the floors. The only issue is like I said, that thing needs to move over. Let's see. I can get it to move over. Is that enough? Okay, yeah, that looks fairly online. That one's fucked. I don't know what happened with that. I, it's like, it, it won't let me relocate it. Maybe just recycle it. I mean, at this point, just recycle it. Dive in, get the materials. see yeah and then we'll just move these as we need let me get all this stuff over here on these lily pads and we should be able to good actually do this correctly okay we have a oh shit we don't have a crude rope Fucking shit all right again hold on okay so we have the crude rope we should be able to do this and then Build menu. To the buoyant foundation, and I do see the stem oh, grass floor right here. Okay. Oh man. How the fuck do I keep doing this? I have to change that keybind. Losing my weapons to dumb shit like that. Okay, so now the only question is. How do we get on top of here? Like that, okay. We should be able to just build over to the next buoy if we do this right. We go cancel. Oh, we had a craft mini this whole time. No one said anything. Nice, okay. And you see that doesn't line up very great. So. Go back with the handy gnat. And I fucked it up. And we're going to move the buoyant foundation. I guess underneath and try. Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't supporting anything. Thank you. It doesn't even work either. Like, literally, like... Shit. Okay. Um... I mean, the only thing I could think about is, like... Putting that there. Building it. And then... Probably been a, more of a pain in the ass than it's worth. I'm not sure. Don't get wet. Don't get wet. There we go. Well, that's the first section done. It, it was a little bit of a skinny. A little bit of a skinny house, but. It should be okay, hopefully. We can make it a little bit bigger, but I mean. We can go up with height. It doesn't really matter too much. 
It does, but it doesn't. Go down. That doesn't look like it lined up very well either. Okay. I will get back with you guys once I get this set. I guess this is going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to get the floor down. All right. From here on, we got the floor finished. From here on, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm probably just going to time lapse the rest of this build. Really, because it's just going to be a lot of me in the handy nap moving stuff from this space over stuff to the side. We're going to use some of the walls so that way we're not wasting materials and I'm not fucking tearing my hair out, you know, trying to source all these materials. And we'll even probably take some from the zipline tower. So it's going to be a whole big annoying process that uh, it's just, yeah, it's just going to be bad. So it's going to be a nice. Probably long time lapse of hopefully getting this base in order. And I probably should honestly go ahead and move my bed over there first since it is kind of annoying working in the dark constantly. So. Yeah. 
fire, you're a liar. 